Have you ever watched a piece of metal being heated? At first it doesn't glow, then it starts to shine red, then yellow and eventually white as it gets hotter. We all know we shouldn't touch any of those. But have you wondered why it glows and changes color like that? This glowing effect is called black body radiation. A black body is an ideal object that absorbs all incoming light and heat without reflecting any of it. The absorbed energy is converted into thermal energy of the black body. Let's understand this in more detail. A black body absorbs all incoming light or electromagnetic radiation, converts it into its internal thermal energy. It then emits this thermal energy in the form of black body radiation. The emitted radiation is not related to the absorbed radiation but rather to the black body's thermal energy. The thermal energy of any object depends on its temperature and therefore the temperature determines the nature and intensity of emitted radiation. In the late 1800s, scientists tried to explain the black body radiation. Classical physics predicted that as wavelength of emitted radiation decrease, the energy would increase without bound. This implied that at very short wavelengths, a black body should emit infinite energy. However, this made no physical sense as a black body only has a finite amount of thermal energy to emit. It was observed that at any temperature, a certain wavelength, not necessarily the shortest wavelength, would carry the maximum intensity of energy and that the wavelength was dependent only on the temperature of the black body. If the temperature of the black body was changed, then the wavelength corresponding to the peak intensity also changed. To explain this strange behavior, a scientist named Max Planck proposed a new theory in 1900. He suggested that energy is not emitted in smooth and continuous flow but rather as a series of small energy packets. He called these energy packets quanta. So, when a black body gives off radiation at many different wavelengths, it doesn't do so in a continuous way. Instead, it emits discrete quanta of energy at each wavelength. The wavelength corresponding to maximum number of photons was the wavelength corresponding to peak intensity at which energy was emitted. In addition, the wavelength of the majority of photons was also the color of the object that was observed. For example, at very low temperatures, most of the photons that are emitted belong to the infrared range. However, a small number of photons are emitted in the red wavelength. As such, the object would appear red. However, as the temperature increases, the number of photons that are emitted increase. In addition, the wavelength corresponding to peak intensity decreases. As we can see here, the wavelength corresponding to peak intensity at 3000 Kelvin is much larger than the wavelength corresponding to peak intensity at 5000 Kelvin. At a temperature of about 3000 Kelvin, an object appears red. At a temperature of about 4000 Kelvin, the object appears yellow. However, at a temperature of about 6000 Kelvin, the object appears white. The object appears white as at this temperature, the object emits a broad spectrum of visible light in roughly equal proportions. Black body radiation and particle nature of light have been significant discoveries in the scientific world. These observations have enabled us to understand other scientific phenomena such as the photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect isn't just a historical breakthrough, it is the foundation of many modern optical and electronic technologies such as solar panels, automated doors, smartphones and even street lights. We will learn more about photoelectric effect in subsequent videos.